We are back from Gen Con. Took a little time to recover. We managed to not get sick this time, which is great. And we came back with so much loot that I barely know where to start. We have the new Big B Glory of the Giants D&D book, the new Marvel RPG, lots of Cobalt Press books, uh, Rage of Elements for Pathfinder. There's the Dreams and Machine starter set. And this here, the new Epic Encounter box from Steamforce Games. And uh, thank you to them for sitting at home with us. And I kind of figured this is probably what you want to see first right but out of the rest of that stash if you have a preference for what you want me to review for you please let me know down in the comment section below and before we open up camp of the bayonet twins here i do have one important update to give you it took us quite a while but we finally found a way a sustainable and affordable way to give you high quality captions for our videos here the auto generated ones by youtube aren't what you would call fantastic and in the early days of the channel grady was just doing it all manually but that just wasn't something we could keep up because it just took forever but we know it's important to a lot of you so now you can turn on a new captions and turn them off and on down below me there they aren't a hundred percent perfect but they're pretty great uh they may get some proper names wrong from from time to time. I mean, most of the things we talk about here has some pretty unusual names, but most of those are going to be up on the screen anyway when I give you the little info box, so you can read them there. So uh, the captions are going to be included in all our new videos, but if you have any older videos that you really want captions for, let me know and I'll do the best I can to get them generated for you and updated. But for now, let's visit the camp of the Banded Twins. Today's video is brought to you by Hit Point Press. The Imperfect Sale is going on now. Get Imperfect Animated Spell Decks, Condition Decks, the Deck of Illusions, and the Humblewood Book or Box Set today for a massive discount. Supplies are limited, so be sure to check it out now using the info icon in the corner or the links below. And by the Deck of Encounters and Loot 5e Kickstarter from Tome of Summoning. Each monster card features a themed loot rolling table, offering delightful, dubious, or downright dangerous items. And each environment gets four tier-based encounter rolling table cards to keep your players engaged. Back within 72 hours for a free set of travel dice. Details in the info icon or the links down below. Opening up our bandit box, you'll see the usual set of gaming supplies, the map, which you may notice has a different style, a little advert, the adventure booklet, and our minis. In this case, we have 18 minis and seven different sculpts. Let's get right to the minis. Now, I've known about this set for at least a year since it was teased to us back at Gen Con last year, but I was surprised to find out that it was mountain-based. While the Bandit Minis here are pretty universal, they are wearing cold weather clothing, so they'll probably fit in better in your Icewind Dale campaigns than in your Waterdeep ones, which is fine. It gives us the opportunity for a Highwayman box somewhere down the line. This set also doesn't use the standard Bandit stat block from the SRD, but their own CR 1 8th stat block featuring a sword and shield. Next up is the CR 1 8th Bandit Bolt Thrower with a crossbow and daggers. Now, I'm no expert on these things, obviously, but this mini design feels like it took inspiration from feudal Japan. The other minis in the set don't really give me that vibe, but I definitely like the distinct look this one has. As always with these sets, you get a lot of optional lore that you can choose from to tell a story that fits your world. These could be highly skilled bandits who train royal assassins. There might be a supernatural twist that the bandit leaders keep the other bandit's souls trapped elsewhere to ensure their loyalty. Or they might be especially cruel and kidnap innocents for their sadistic hunting games. Here's a fun little twist in the set. The bandits keep a group of skilled elementalists handy to assist with their treacherous deeds. They are CR3 5th level sorcerers who have spells like Acid Arrow, Meld into Stone, Conjure Minor Elementals, and Conjure Elemental. Your party is not going to be expecting to be waylaid on the side of the road by bandits who can summon elementals to ruin their day. And since the set is mountain-based, that elementalist is likely going to favor Earth Elementals. And we get this very cool and unique looking Earth Elemental in the set. That center headstone is carved up with some arcane runes, as you can tell, and I can imagine some very interesting paint jobs that you could do with it, especially if you make those runes glow and use some object source lighting painting techniques. If you do paint these minis up, please share them with me using our Discord channel and tag me so I can see them. Now, this guy doesn't use the standard CR5 Earth Elemental stat block, but a custom CR3 stat block instead. If he's being summoned with that Conjure Elemental spell from the Elementalist, you may want to consider using the standard stat block instead to get the best bang for your arcane buck. 
every minion set these days has a mounted mini. No gorilla yet, but our buddy Joseph will be happy to see these goats. Pull up your mounted combat rules from the player's handbook because you are going to need them. We're starting with the mounted bandit lancer. The combined mini doesn't have its own stat block, but you'll use the standard bandit one, which does sport a spear in addition to its sword and shield. Plus you can use the included CR one half goat mount stat block. And this mini is the Bandit Archer, so you can use the Goat Mount and the Bandit Bolt Thrower stat blocks here. With this group of minis, you are going to have some very interesting combat encounters, though they will be a little bit involved for the Game Master. You have mounted and unmounted melee and ranged fighters, and a caster who can summon various elementals. You'll want to make sure that you have a firm grasp on those mounted combat rules before you start this encounter. And we haven't even talked about the bosses yet. The Vile Villain Twins. Yes, villain, it's kind of on the nose. And again, you can choose your background lore here. Are they big game hunters? Are they really one person magically split into two telepathic bodies? Are they the spiritual manifestations, the avatars of the idea of banditry, lust, and greed? Well, you get to decide among those and several other options that the booklet will give you. They come with a CR4 stat block that makes them stronger when they fight next to each other. Here you can see them all together. In addition to the options for background lore, you also get a page with five detailed adventure hooks to connect this encounter to your ongoing story. Maybe there's just a bounty out for the bandits. Maybe the bandits do just waylay them in their travels. Or maybe something more personal triggers this encounter. I'll leave those other options in the booklet for you to discover. The biggest surprise here is the map. If you saw our Gen Con interview with designer Richard August, which you can see in the info icon up there, you know that this marks the beginning of a new art style for at least the maps in these sets. Previously, we had near photorealistic maps, but these are obviously much more painterly with very obvious brush strokes. It's gonna be a subjective matter of taste, obviously, but I love the new style. They could lose the grid and turn these paintings into art for your game room walls. Now, one of the main things that makes these epic encounter boxes so special is that they give you both lore and gameplay mechanics tied to the map features. 5e combat can get very samey if you're not careful, and using the terrain is a great way to shake things up. The book tells you where everyone starts in the battle and the bandits' tactics. But you also can get special rules for the icy bridge, the frozen river, the snowy cliffs, and the beckoning, glowing cave that has a surprise in store for your PCs. The other side of the map is called the Place Between the Pillars, and again, you get lots of thematic lore and sensory information about the location for your storytelling, and you get game mechanics to play with, particularly with the pillars, the campground in the corner of your map there, and that giant skull in the corner. You also get tactical information to help you set up an intelligent assault by the bandits. Another very solid minion box from the Epic Encounters team, and remember that each box is designed to be adapted to tiers one, two, and three of gameplay, depending on the level of your party. It's tough to rank them, but this one's definitely higher on the list for being so useful in so many different kinds of campaigns. And I think the new map art style really just elevates the whole product and makes it feel more premium. And I really don't have many suggestions for improvement this time around. I do think there's maybe room to include a few other special additions to the booklet, like a custom thematic spell for the Elementalist or a special magic item that the twins can carry, just to make those monster stat blocks a little bit more surprising. But otherwise, I think they've worked out a formula here and they can just keep producing these boxes for years to come. Epic Encounters Camp of the Bandit Twins is launching August 22nd for between 45 and 55 bucks. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. They have heavily implied that the next box coming down the pike is going to be Knowles, but we haven't seen any official teases just yet. So be sure you watch our social media and you go subscribe to our Discord for the latest news. And don't forget to back the Deck of Encounters and Loot by the Kickstarter from the Tome of Summoning People. Get there early so you can get your free Traveler's Dice set and also get yourself some dirt cheap and animated reference cards from Hit Point Press before they run out. And uh, I just bought a bunch of these myself too to use as stocking stuffers this year. You can never start your holiday shopping too early, I swear. Uh, but stay tuned here for our review of the Manticore Boss Box. It's coming up very soon with this one. And until then, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.